This year on the runway, it was filled with dimension, color, intricate detailing, and powerful statements. Oversized shoulder padded blazers were seen throughout the runway, paired with long skirts or suit pants. It was seen over many runways such as Dior and Alexander Wang. Dior used media art all over the venue. Powerful statements such as, I am a woman. Alexander Wang took the approach of a strong, confident woman in the office scene. The catwalk was in between cubicles. Designers such as Christian Dior, Dolce & Gabbana, Vivian Westwood, John Galliano, and Valentino took the approach of including this theme of confident and empowered women in their designs. Every design was interpreted differently, such as Dior with a powerful red color, with black stripes, an oversized blazer, and a skirt pleats on the side, with a casual look of a graphic tee under the blazer and a loose belt. Dolce & Gabbana went from more masculine attire to dress their blazer, with a matching black suit with white stripes, slick hair back, white button-up underneath the outfit, and a black bow tie, inspired by men's 1960s suits with a modern twist. This theme of boss woman clothing goes hand in hand with the current zeitgeist. With women fighting for equal pay and equal rights, women are bringing back their pantsuits, blazers, and shoulder pads to appear more masculine to the eye. Some designs are a bit more feminine, such as the pop of color for those who love color. Women are dressing formal and wanting to be treated as a businesswoman, a leader. Blazers, pantsuits, and formal wear has always been in style for those who work in the business world. It is now taking over mainstream media. Formal wear is available for everyone, in different cost ranges from fast fashion retail to luxury brands. This trend will take off because it brings out confidence in the sense that everything can be possible. Loose leather Leather pants was seen on the runway, used in many different ways by designers such as Gucci, Alexander Wang, Marc Jacobs, Etro, and Versace. Leather pants was in style around the 1950s and 1960s with greasers and famous rock and roll singers wearing them. They have now flooded the catwalk. Rather than skin-tight leather pants, they are a looser feel and look. Marc Jacobs went for a 1980s theme, with a classic black laser, a white button-up under it, with a leather mar maroon pants, tight at the waist and loose fitting at the bottom, paired with black heels. Etro took a more 70s look, with a sheer paisley top, a yellow colorful striped jacket, and brown leather pants, paired with brown leather booties. These leather pants were loose fitting at the top and cinched rolled at the ankles. Leather pants have came in and out of style, with leather pants at its last appearance in the 90s, it is time for them to appear back into mainstream media. Rather than tight black leather pants, it has been seen on the runways for loose fitting and bag baggy leather in different colors. This trend may only last a while since it hasn't stuck around much in recent years. Since skin tight leather pants were not comfortable to wear for long periods of time, there is a slight possibility it might become a classic since the new style of leather pants look a bit more loose and may be comfortable to wear. Full of color. It was seen by designers they would use colorful garments and fabric such as Gucci, Jeremy Scott, Dolce & Gabbana, Christian Dior, and Marc Jacobs. Gucci showed the use of a white fabric shirt with floral sketch drawn detailing with an earthly tone of green to contrast the colors. A brown plaid dress underneath and colorful blue pants with pink florals, topped off with blue shoes with green and brown stripes. Jeremy Jer Scott took a more futuristic approach, used colorful gems on a silver long sleeved short dress with pink tights and pink heels. During the fall and winter season, it can be seen that people prefer to wear dark tone colors rather than colorful attire. This season's runway show may change it, this coming fall and winter, with colorful pieces, some using detailing or fabric, color can change your mood and make you feel happy or sad. Having the use of color in gloomy weather can help bring people's mood up. The use of wearing
The use of having colorful clothing may be the exact reason why it was seen on the runway, to make people feel different types of emotions. With the use of color, it can help with the tough times that we are experiencing. Cinched to the waist. The sheath silhouette was seen throughout the runway shows by designers such as Etro, Christian Dior, Marc Jacobs, Versace, and Dolce & Gabbana. Versace showed the sheath silhouette in the use of a trench coat, with gold detailing in the buttons and belt, with a collared white top also with gold gems, paired with chunky maroon heels and a maroon bag. Dior went for a 70s vibe to the sheath look, with a flowy long dress with different patterns and prints, paired with a boater hat, a choker, orange glasses, and leather boots. Although woman attire on the runway was masculine, there were some feminine aspects such as showing the waist by using a belt. This can appeal to men and women who prefer to show their figure. This look can be easy to imitate. It can be used by getting a belt and a dress and tie it to the waist. This can be seen by many age ranges and cost ranges. It can make an outfit look different, all by the use of a belt. You could also use this trend on a trench coat or high-waisted pants.